So when I say Godzilla really loud and kind of point at you, I want to hear you go. Rawr! Actually, that's not loud enough. Rawr! So there's another monster in this story. Sorry. And she's a lady monster. And she's never been recorded before. Oh. So we kind of have to make her sound up tonight. And she's Badgezilla. <laughs> And so when I say Vag. her name, Vag. I, we need to like collaborate for a second here. What the fuck sound does Vagzilla make? Anybody? <laughs> I heard a squee. I heard a. <laughs> what is that? That's the main guy. Main guy's fuck. Run king is over there going. It did occur to me that another universal sound is the porn lady orgasming sound. <laughs> Not that any of you watch porn. <laughs> but if you if you chance on it or you hear somebody talk about it, it sounds vaguely like somebody shaving or strangling a seal. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> it's like a strangled or shaved seal. I'm, I'm sorry. So I need these noises to help me. I need the Godzilla noise. And I need the Badgezilla noise. I hope to... God, somebody's recording. I am. so happy I peed. Although I kind of already peed, so it's okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So if I go like this, and I say Godzilla or Vag, you'll know what to do, right? Yeah. It won't be the whole story, but for some of it, we totally need sound effects so it doesn't work. Are you with me? Yeah. You swear? Yeah. If you way louder than you just were. Thank you. Rod Hill's not here because I'm not TV material, so we just have to do it ourselves. You ready? Yes! Wrath of the Zillas. <coughs> there are dreams I don't tell Siggy about. They rise from the wet heat of my inner oceans. They flick on in black and white and turn technicolor in cinematic proportions. They wrestle my bed sheets and cover my body with sweat sheen. They're too big for his puny dream interpretations, his big head. Let's just say I'm a girl with a really bigger head. And these head movies, they're fucking mine. So I'm not telling anybody except you. Close your eyes. Night. A black and white seascape as big as you can see it in your brain thing. An ocean freighter sits seemingly motionless, its crew off duty on the decks with guitars and harmonicas. They're lovely, actually. They're pretty man bodies. Lonely, beautiful sailors. But the ocean is moving, agitated, swelling, then swirling and cresting in black and white. Waves from white water mountains bubbling up. There's something come surging from below. When the ocean's surface begins to boil white hot, and the waves swell and crest out of nowhere, and a flash of blue bone-colored light blinds the screen, Godzilla rises! Ah! Awesome! And the freighter and all the beautiful, beautiful man sailors vanish into the Pacific. Fuck them, they're dead. <laughs> In my dream head, when nearby islanders start disappearing and dying, and villages are crushed to shit with the truth, it begins to emerge, awakened from an eons long sleep by an H bomb explosion, embodying all the fears of a nation in the shape of a monster, part gorilla and part whale. Which, can I take a timeout? Never quite made sense to me. Part gorilla and part whale? What the fuck is that about? But still, it's fucking cool. A giant bipedal mutant 
dinosaur with rough, bumpy scales that change color, various shades of brown and green and purple, almost black scales, a long, powerful tail, a jagged blue, dark purple, wide dorsal fin, the lower body of Trinosaurus, a triple row of dorsal plates reminiscent of Stegosaurus, the neck and forms of Iguanodon, and a tail and skin, texture of alligator, Godzilla. <laughs> nerds in the room besides me that saw the first one? Yes. yes. <laughs> and he's got atomic breath and nuclear death beams and radioactive rays and his dorsal spines glow neon blue and his fire breath glows neon blue and oh yeah! He's got nuclear pulse and magnetic aura and he shoots laser green from his eyes and sometimes he's got amphibiosity because he's the missing link. He's sea creature and land creature and everything in between. And here's the part of the dream that I will no way tell anyone ever, especially my shrink, especially Siggy. He's got a sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vagzilla. <laughs> She arises next to her brother and spiviosity from the salted sea goo and slime. Great waves thunder shake the entire ocean with her furious lady raft. The sea is shivering and threatening to blow off of the earth in projectile water gush geysers that are repetitive. Her lips are mighty and ever undulating. Her orifice fathoms deep. Burgundy and crimson, angry, flaring, labia majoris crest, the flesh squish of her outer rim. Hot pink and deep mouth flare the glistening sponges of her labia minora flaps. And when you witness the wrath of her humongous, muscular, and pulsating badge, pushing out and receding a thunderous wail in the dark corridor of her cervix all the way up to the gullet of her mighty and cavernous, Head swallowing uterus, oh horror of an endless depth of mouth, which strikes me as kind of opposite to Moby Dick. Think about it. <laughs> oh, oh, you bet your ass you'd run. It's a mouth coming at you with shitty pink lips. Run! Run! <laughs> she could swallow your asshole. And when she fully opens her mouth, which you have hope to God she never does, as there is a sucking sensation stronger than any black hole you could possibly imagine in science fiction, sucking in sailors and businessmen and buildings and light rail and women and children, she cries her terrible cry, that's suck! Her his powers are all fission, her powers are all fusion, she's atomic, nuclear, emerging and pouring, she's powering stars, she's the motherfucking force of the sun fusing 620 metric tons of hydrogen each second, if you look that up, you see I'm right. Well, he's all shoe radiation out, she's all suck it in and convert it into energy, she's utterly plasmatic, dude, she's devouring and glowing with it, she's a badges borealis. <laughs> It's my fucking dream, so fuck off. Godzilla <laughs> and Godzilla, him with his blue neon radioactive blast destroying everything phallic and her gloriously snotty flam glue salt bursts of Lady Jizzarama sucking in and drowning everything, born from the blast and unstoppable. The black giant in the movies and his velvet grit swollen like sister trample the country. <laughs> Flames fire from Godzilla's mouth, incinerating anything. Lady fucking ooze gushes from Badgezilla over the land in waves, disintegrating everything in his path. This includes a slow motion scene of a mother holding her children as she explains they'll soon join daddy in heaven. <laughs> Seconds later, Godzilla douses the arrow with fire, and Badgezilla drowns them in primordial flesh and stooge. <laughs> the military loses their struggle instantly, wiped out in a matter of seconds when they made the Miche beast, because guns are puny impotence. <laughs> Scenes of smoldering streets the next morning.